here to share my discovery. Uh, after hours and weeks of extensive research, I pretty much came across a possible fueling solution for the Civic Type R, uh, 2017 to current year. Uh, these injectors here, one is the one with the blue O-ring is from another manufacturer. The one with the green O-ring is basically the Civic Type R's. <clears throat> Basically, uh, the dimensions are identical. The orifices, the spray pattern orifices are identical. The only difference is the angle of the plug here. It, it still, it doesn't hinder anything. It plugs right in. Uh, the blue orifice is 1400 cc at 2150 PSI. And the Civic Type R is, I, I would say 800, 850 at 2800 PSI. Well, since these are 1400 under 2150 PSI, under 2800 PSI, 650 PSI more, they should make at least 1700, 1650 to 1700 CC. <clears throat> uh, the only difference is uh, this one has, the blue O-ring has a bigger inlet orifice here, basically, you know, for higher flow. The FK has like a small orifice, it's basically, like a pinhole, basically. Um, it's some small modifications, basically only take you a few seconds. The, I already did the, the swap of the rings here. It's like a little spacer ring. The, it's a thicker ring here. And basically on this uh, injector here, it just basically took a flat tip screwdriver, popped it right off. The Civic Type R requires, you know, basically take a scribe and it has a little locking ring a little locking clip that holds the spacer on. So basically you take that off and it just transfers right over. Um, other than that, I, I pretty much take all, took all the measurements, took, I owned them out, they're the same. Uh, pretty much, I mean, it's identical other than the, the pitch of the plug there. And uh, this should be a a solution that I mean we all been looking for for a while I mean since it the FK came across I mean it, it basically came into production and released and what is like May of 2017 or so and after the aftermarket world you know produce Honda K tuner Motec the only limitation to our power was the injectors we couldn't get the fuel so I'm hoping that the stock fuel pump, the high pressure fuel pump will suffice and make big power before it, before it goes out on us. But um, with bigger injectors, you know, you can run straight meth, straight, uh, no, excuse me, not meth, ethanol, excuse me, E85. You could run straight E85 and make big, big power. The only uh, I'm basically on I'm gonna change my uh, end tank as well, and uh, to basically provide more flow to this to my high pressure fuel pump, so it can get the fuel to the injectors, have the the flow needed to push through to these bigger orifices injectors that can basically have a higher demand on that pump on that high pressure fuel pump. Basically, all you have to do is uh. Any of your Honda, K tuner, or what I have is Motec, basically, you know, calibrate it for your application. And it adjusts to pretty much adjusting the duty cycle on the injectors so they could, you know, provide it the adequate enough fuel, not over fuel, so it could run and idle. So I'm pretty much releasing this freely. I mean, it's no cost. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not hoarding any information. I'm remaining transparent. And I'm just sharing this with the community so everybody can pretty much make power and go their own direction and do their thing. And maybe, you know, as you guys, you know, find out things as well, you share it back with the community so we all can, you know, grow in power. So uh, I'm gonna, I'll release part numbers, links where to get it, 
prices and it's very inexpensive. I mean, it's it'll shock you and it actually shock you what brand this is. But uh, uh, stay tuned. Hey, uh, if you know somebody uh, that also has an FK8, hey, hit them up, share the info with them so they could follow as well. Hey, I'm here to help everyone. You know, um, you know, I'm not like some folks. You know, if you discover some way to make power, you keep it to yourself. No, that's not me. So we're gonna hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll be releasing everything after I do some testing myself because I don't want you know to throw it out there and you know harm comes to someone's engine because of misinformation or the product you know didn't work. So I I will sacrifice my own engine. You know. To, to better the community to help everyone else out because I mean I'm a, I'm a mechanic by trade so if something goes bad I'll just fix it myself ain't no biggie it'll just take my time and hopefully not a lot of money so uh, just uh, stay tuned you make, get some get your friends to follow all your FK owners hey tag them tag them up uh, share the link and uh, let's get this info out there so uh, we all can make power together Stay tuned.